Hi all, and today I will be telling you about a new open source tool called Teleport, which is by Gravitational. And uh, we'll go through two quick demos uh, where I'll show you two factor authentication demo and a GitHub authentication method as well. So let's get started. So gravitational teleport is basically a gateway for managing access to the clusters of Linux servers via SSH or the Kubernetes API. Yes, you heard it right. Kubernetes API as well. So basically you can manage all your cloud infrastructure, SSH login access or, or any Linux server edge infrastructure via an SSH uh, for securing the infrastructure to comply with the security best practices to having the visibility of what is happening in the infrastructure reduce operational overhead there can be too much with the def with this definition but i think by the time uh, you see both the demos it will be more clear like like uh, what it exactly does so let's dive into the installation uh, so we'll install the teleport r file i have two hosts so i'll download it here And now we will just go to our XEF. We'll go in the teleport directory. We should be seeing the files. We'll do the install. It will put all the three binaries uh, TCT and teleport TSH to the user local build so that you can use it. And you can also install via Docker, Helm, Mac OS, Windows, uh, uh, and also install from source. So the installation part is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's go through the uh, quick start guide. So let's create a directory so that the data, uh, whatever data is there, will store over here. And that's it. We just have to do a teleport start. Now, basically, a teleport start will uh, start the service, runs as a daemon. Uh, and uh, what you can do is you can also provide configuration file, which we'll do when we'll do the uh, GitHub demo. But for now, we'll just do a teleport start without uh, with the basic defaults. Let's go to uh, the host one and create a user. So what we do is uh, via TCTL, we'll be just adding a user. Uh, what it will do is it will create a URL. So you have you actually have to set up this user's uh, password uh, and by default, the uh, two-factor authentication is enabled. So we'll just uh, go here and we'll do just ignore the warnings visit the website and you can see how awesome it is so you already have two-factor authentication built in so let me just quickly give in the password this is the password that i'm actually setting up and now is the two-factor authentication code uh, so what we'll do is i'll open the google authenticator app scan the barcode and after scanning the barcode i'll just put the value I'm authenticated. This is the teleport UI. And you can see I have a root access to uh, this particular play account server. Now what happens is I can add additional loads. I will show you that. So uh, I already have a go playground. I can see the active sessions. I can uh, see the audit logs. And the nodes basically are uh, very pretty much handy from the UI. You can directly connect from the UI by this particular route. I can do LS. I think this is pretty cool. I I already can do uh, connect to a user. Uh, sorry, connect to the host, uh, which is Go Playground uh, via the web UI. So without any and with with two factor authentication. So that's 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 the security level I get. So that was the the first demo that I wanted to cover on two factor authentication. Uh, now is uh, another cool thing. I can integrate the teleport with single sign on. Uh, so basically it's OAuth uh, using GitHub. Uh, so let's go to the GitHub. Uh, what we'll be doing is, so this is this is just a organization. So if you don't have, just create an organization, uh, create a team and in the team, just maybe you can just create any team. I called it admin and you can just add yourself for the demo purposes. And now just um, uh, go to the settings, developer settings, new OAuth app. Give it a name, uh, my demo, my teleport demo. Uh, 
so it, it wants a home page url so we'll give the url with the port 3080 so this is the actual host uh, public ip where uh, i have just ran teleport start and uh, the callback url will be v1 web app github slash callback so they both have to be uh kind of you have to carefully put the values because it's a public ip that you have to put or the accessible host name uh, uh which is resolvable that you have to give over here uh, now what you want to do is uh, uh, just go back i'll just go back over here and i'll do ls i have a github.yaml let me go back to the teleport folder so i have a github.yaml file so we'll just go into the github.yaml file and i can uh, so it's it's just basically i'll create a uh, authenticator so what we'll do is we'll just put the client id client id very simple file nothing fancy over here then we'll generate a secret copy the secret paste the secret rest uh, the team to login uh, is the team name is admin logins is root so uh, the redirect urls should be the same both places so this is where uh, you can actually see uh, the github uh, yaml file so this is what they have mentioned all the details what are all the additional values uh, that you can put i think these are the these are the one that that is uh, pretty much it for the github connector so i have cre already created the connector it's time to just create this so the authentication connector github has been created now what we have to do is i can't run directly so what we'll do is we will start teleport with the teleport yaml file so in the teleport yaml file i just have authentication type as github so basically it should take authentication type as github so what we'll do is teleport start hyphen hyphen config equal to teleport.yaml to work uh, it has started let's go back and let's log out boom you can see uh, the teleport ui has changed and now i directly have the github login access so i authorize the hub station and boom i'm still into the cluster i can still connect this time i logged in via my git credentials so i'm able to connect to the shell as well and now what i want to show you is uh, how we can add a node so what we do is uh, tctl nodes add so we'll just copy this and on the host 2 i'll just change the ip address it's 91.2 11.153.160 press enter it should work it's working now let me just refresh or well, let's let's just go into the playground and we can see uh k3d a new host is already there i can directly connect to it i'm able to connect to it so this works this works super fine there's another feature uh which i would like to just highlight is uh, in, in active sessions what you can do is you can actually join a session so you can see these two sessions i think uh, they are joined this one and this one yeah these two sessions are joined so if i write anything over here so touch cli so that exact command will appear here as well so similarly what you can do is if you go to the quick start guide uh, you can uh, tsh in secure login and you can start the session and from the ui you can actually join the session so this is uh, something some another cool feature that i wanted to just tell you which is there another the docs the architecture the documentation is pretty vast uh, so that was a quick demo where i just told you the two factor authentication and github github uh, authentication let me know in the comment section how do you like the video and what else you want to learn uh, if you like the video thumbs up like share subscribe and do share the video uh, and connect me on twitter with adroid uh, thank you for watching